All right, so Pastor Noah, in light of the coronavirus pandemic and all the things that come with that, what would you say, from your perspective, lies behind the fear that so many of us either feel ourselves or we see in those around us? Yeah, I think fear is most often triggered by a lack of control. When something's going on in our lives and the world around us that we don't have control over, that we can't affect, that we can't change, that, that we can't calm down, uh, I believe that causes us to to feel a, a sense of, of a lack of control and, and fear comes from that. And so as people look at something like the coronavirus, which is this microscopic thing that just invades the air and we don't know who has it and where it is and how fast it's gonna spread, this sense of anxiety creeps up because people's minds continue to go to the fact that I don't know what to do, I can't control this. And that leads to this place of thinking, well, can anybody, can God control this? Right. Well, Take that description then for me. That's always the place we want to go, right? And so what are some what are some ways you would say that we can battle those kinds of fears from a biblical perspective? What are some biblical things we can do to really fight that? I think it's reminding ourselves of the promises found in God's Word. I mean, God's Word is not only instruction for how we're to live, it's instruction for how we're to believe. And so more often than not, the rebukes we see in Scripture are we're not believing the right things about God. We've forgotten the character of God. So getting back in the Word, studying the Word and the character of God, that He's with us and He is strong and He is sovereign and He is faithful. Um, another thing I think we can do is worship. Worship is connecting the knowledge, part of what we know, to the knowledge of, of our hearts. So all of a sudden we are responding out of belief and out of faith. And so I would challenge people to worship in the midst of their fear. And then finally, I would just say what Scripture says. It's fear the Lord. And when you fear the Lord and you have God in your in His proper perspective, then everything else diminishes. Yeah, so I, let's dig in just a little bit there. Because I think we hear that phrase, the fear of the Lord, and often just kind of gloss over because it sounds like sort of Bible speak, right? But dig into that just a little bit for me. What does the fear of the Lord mean? What do you mean by that? And how do we cultivate that in our own hearts? Yeah, I think it's having a deep and, and robust sense of the the bigness of God. It's putting God in his right place. If we see God for who he is, what the Bible says about him, what the Bible says he does and is capable of and how much he loves us, it allows us to see everything else in light of who he is and what he does. And everything gets shifted into proper perspective. He is big, everything else is small. So when God is maximized in our eyes, everything else is minimized. Awesome, thanks brother, appreciate it.